What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you your Saturday Film Junkie where you actually see my face. How does it look? That's why I shaved, ha, ah, because I knew my face was going to be here on this Saturday. Thank you for clicking in, as always, guys. Hey, let's talk a little bit about movies. All right, Batman vs. Superman news. By the way, I am jealous as fuck right now because WonderCon is happening, and they're doing a lot of Batman versus not Batman vs. Superman, just a lot of Batman stuff. I just saw a picture. There's a panel with Ralph Garman, Kevin Smith, Kevin Conroy. If you don't know who that is, he voices Batman in a lot of the animated shit. Best Batman voice ever. As well as some other heads, man. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Apparently they showed footage to uh, some uh, new Batman anim Batman Beyond animated flick that's coming out that, that somebody said looked awesome. And they also showed some more footage from Godzilla and apparently... Well, you know what? I am going to put this up on the site, so we'll talk about that in a little bit because something came out of that little footage. But hey, let's talk a little Zack Snyder, okay? Zack Snyder, of course, the captain of Batman vs. Superman. He recently sat down with Forbes, Mr. Mark Hughes to be exact. And Mark Hughes had the luxury of interviewing him and asking him all kinds of questions. And um, basically, um, he asked him, you know, why Batman? You know, what made them go towards the whole Batman vs. Superman? And basically what Zack Snyder said was, you know, when they, when, when they got done finishing The Man of Steel, or close to being finished, you know, they were obviously talking about the sequel already. And he thought, okay, the... They had General Zod, who was just like a perfect matchup with Superman. It was like, okay, somebody from his planet, and of course they can match wits, they can match, match strength and everything, so it was awesome. And then he just kind of said, what about Batman? He just threw it out there, not really knowing how people would take it, and he pretty much said that once you said say Batman, you can't really take it back, because holy shit! That's not it, guys! That's not it! Sorry, I'm getting a little crazy right now but he also touched bases about the costumes um he says he doesn't know when they're going to you know he's not really in charge of that part um the only thing he said was he's got a huge picture of it hanging in his fucking office who wants to break into his office oh that sucks apparently yeah because it was a phone interview i think or a video interview i don't know so zach schneider was in his office he said yeah i'm looking at a big huge picture of it right now yeah! The new rumor, or like the new rumor, but the new speculation is that they will show him off at this year's Comic Con in San Diego, which is like July, end of July possibly, but then, I mean, who knows? We heard that it was going to be the end of March, beginning of April, now we're hearing, yeah, I even heard the end of May, and then now I'm hearing Comic Con, I don't know. It sucks, but yeah, it'll get there, guys. Don't worry, I know. I dream about it every night. I really don't. Because that would be weird. Reboots and remakes. All right, yes. Like I said in the beginning, Godzilla was shown. They showed footage of Godzilla at WonderCon, which is awesome. Lucky motherfuckers that got to see that. Um, and basically, the other monster... I mean, I told you guys about this before, that there's going to be a winged monster that's pretty gruesome looking. It's not going to be Mothra. Like, a lot of people were, in, were thinking that it was going to be the other monster. No, it's going to be something else. I forgot what it's called. Shit. Ah, damn. I think it does start with an M, M but it's not Mothra. Anyways, look at this. Boom. God, it's like a bat, weird bat, creature, lizard, th I don't know what the hell it is, but it looks pretty cool. And somebody even tweeted out too, because there have been a lot of tweets about WonderCon, and somebody tweeted out saying that if the movie is half as good as the footage they saw, it's going to be the best movie of the year, best blockbuster at least. God, I'm getting excited for this movie, aren't you? Jesus Christ. It's pretty good stuff, and, uh, well, any more information about it, I'll let you guys know. And it pretty much ran off the show today. I didn't have much. I'm sorry, you know, I didn't have... There wasn't really that much in the past few days. Not Honestly, there wasn't. But a lot of you will be excited about this, especially if you're a fan of Step Brothers or Talladega Nights. Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. John C. Riley? Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> I almost thought it was Michael or something. <laughs> yes, those two crazy kids are teaming up once again for a movie called Border Guards. And this is directed, this will be directed by Mr. Adam McKay. Andy McKay? Adam McKay. God, I am really bad with my fucking names today. But if you recognize that name, I think it's Adam. Yeah, Adam McKay. You probably should because he helped write and he also directed Talladega Night, Step Brothers, and both Anchorman movies. So when these three get together, comedy gold ensues. So I'm really looking forward to it. The premise is basically both of those characters think that they're hot shit and they think it's their duty, their obligation to America 
to be border guards, you know, border patrol, and something happens, of course, and they get trapped in Mexico where they have to get back across the border. Sounds like a simple plot, but I'm sure it's going to be hilarious because it's those motherfuckers. Let me know how excited you are about that, and it's pretty much all the movie news I had. X-Men Days of Future Patch, you fucking kidding me? You see that last trailer? Holy shit! Somebody actually who follows me and uh, who I actually talked to, talk to a lot on Twitter, he said like, oh, you should do a trailer review, and I thought about it, but I just didn't have the time. But that trailer was fucking awesome. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put it down below check it out it, it it totally you see a different angle you don't see just a bunch of like the magnitude of the whole movie like <sighs> you just see kind of like what's going on you see wolverine you know we're recruiting essentially putting the x-men back together in the past which is kind of cool because if you think about it that's quite a turnaround with wolverine because at first he wanted nothing to do with anybody in the first movie he was like fuck all this shit and now he's trying to get everybody together to Fight. It just looks so fucking awesome. So check it out if you haven't. Also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And uh, visit filmjunkie.com for your latest in movie news, trailers, and film reviews. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. I am David, the Film Junkie, and this has been the Well, the Film Junkie. <laughs> uh, I do so many videos sometimes I forget which one I'm doing. It's okay. I'm not burnt out yet. <laughs> Alright guys, talk to you later.